It's not just uh, what the Gepanagas do for people, but it's more the effect they have on them. Seeing them makes my kids' eyes just light up. Uh, they have a profound uh, positive effect on my kids. My family and I moved to the Dallas area late 2013. And when after a few months we finally managed to purchase a house and we're getting ready to move in, the first ones to volunteer to help move boxes and furniture and all of that stressful stuff was the Gepanaga family. Miss Sue is such a giving person and everyone loves Sue and her family. Sue inspires me because even when she's not feeling well, her faith in God and her commitment to her family still shines through. Why is Sue Gepanaga's life worth saving? In my book, Sue Gepanaga is one of the most caring, loving, concerned women I've ever met. In particular, it's been a pleasure for me to work with the three brothers. They're also known as the G Bros uh, on the worship team. And uh, just their, their faithfulness. I mean, they, they started on the worship team probably when they were like 12, 13 years old. Nell and, and uh, Sue have both instilled into their children uh, just, a, just an ethic of helping and serving others. Uh, Sue, with a, I know Sue, with, in her medical condition, she still helps out and serves in every way she possibly can, especially as a driver for the family and take care of the boys and make sure they get to the places they want to serve. A kid is faithful at that age, and, and, and these guys that show up faithfully to practice has, has just been a blessing to, to everyone here. They're not your typical teenage boys. They stay home and take care of their mother and their house, and they put others before themselves. Uh, we've been to the Coffin Children's Shelter numerous times. They're always there with us. They always uh, give up their time and their talents and their giftings. Uh, they don't, nothing goes to waste in this family. Everything that they have, they, they pour out to others. They've been a wonderful influence to our family, and we just hope and pray that somehow they can get exactly the resources they need. And, and, and it's, it's interesting because a family that's so, the, the, the family that you would think people should give to them, but this is a family that gives to others. And so we're asking now that you would just give to this family. And I think that's why Sue's life is a life worth saving. Uh, I'm Nathan Gepanaga. My name is Nolan Gepanaga. My name is Nelson Gepanaga. My mom is Susan Gepanaga and my dad is Nell Gepanaga. My parents have been a great example for me. Both of my parents have uh, inspired me. Well, she encourages us to be like more like God-fearing people, to be generous, nice and kind. I hope that my future wife is like my mom and how she is caring and always supportive. I, everywhere around her, she's, she's always kind to people. People at church see her and she's always happy. Uh, for instance, my mom is like very encouraging. She always supports us and she has a big heart for us and loves us. Her presence there just makes us feel like we have to be welcoming people. Both of my parents always love to work hard. The fact that she could still cook and pick us up, that uh, even when she doesn't feel like it, so what excuse do I have to not do what I'm supposed to do? She has all the sicknesses and she's still doing everything to the best of her abilities. I don't have an excuse for, for not throwing away the trash or not making good grades. So she, just that is, helps me to be the best I can be. And they, they reach out to people and they always love to just help others who are in need like we are. And uh, they've set an example for me in their lives just by, by the way they've uh, raised me and my brothers up and um, the fact that uh, my parents didn't really come from much uh, really helped me to uh, 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 want to change the way that I want my next family to be. They really showed me what hard work and determination does that um, everything will turn out okay if, if you just keep pursuing what you love, so.
Ever since my mom was uh, uh, diagnosed with a kidney failure, uh, it's been a really a tough time for us. Since my mom has been ill, it's been a rough time for our family. Through those hard times, we just we get stronger, and and I we love to pray together most of all. Uh, I think the last thing I'd say to her would be uh, thank you for for loving me, and thank you for. Uh, Always being there. But it's it's gonna be hard without you and you pushed me to be a better person and you prepared us. I just I just wanna thank you for um supporting us and give helping us grow up to to become what we are. She needs this transplant to support her through this and that would be really grateful and meaningful to not only me, but to other people to see her still alive. <laughs>